Week by week, day after day, and every week means a new fucking episode in a new place. We're going to go ahead and hit up with the munchies. I got my rig this time with me because I wanted to get the... It's breakfast time. It's kind of about to be lunchtime, but... You know, you can never go wrong with breakfast all day. Especially when it's something that's bomb. So, this spot right here is a fairly new spot in the heart of downtown LA. Like, you know, like... Here's one thing about downtown, man. Like, just leave downtown LA with the with its own fucking vibe. I feel like people are trying, like... These people that are building shit and everything are trying really hard to give it that New York vibe. And I'm sorry, that New York vibe means a lot more assholes in the fucking city. And I do not like that shit. But this, this, this fucking place right here is located in the real heart of downtown LA. Where you see a lot of the working people. Shit's fucking constantly moving. And it's, it's the equivalent. Let me see. It's like, it's like if a diving bar... Fucked all the boxes of cereals, and they opened up early as fuck, and they and they combined and they created this place. And this place that I'm talking about is this brand new place. It's a cereal bar. That's right, a fucking cereal bar, like, like fucking cornflakes, you know, cornflakes, fucking a that shit. It, it's it's like that on steroids. This place is called Gizmos, and it's a little small spot that has just opened up. It has not that. It does not have that money, that much time being open, but. I became a fan the first time I tried it. Because first of all, I think as stoners, listen, I'm still that stoner that, like, like Big Daddy, you know what I'm saying? Like, when he was eating the cereal, watching TV and cartoons, I'm that kind of stoner. I got to take a quick little dab, man. I got to build this appetite. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, <coughs> so this spot is called Gizmos. It's <coughs> It literally looks like a little pop-up shop. It's not the kind of place you go in and sit down. So be prepared to take this to on the go or it's perfect. It's it's really great <coughs> if you're going to post me there or something like that. And I know what you're thinking. But I, I don't want to post me some cereal. I can just go to the fucking store and buy it. Yeah, fucking go do it. This place is special because not only not only does it give you like that fucking um, like that <coughs> have it your way aspect where like you can choose what you want. They have certain plates. So for example, like there's certain things that you like that, that you like on your taste buds. Let's say you like Cocoa Puffs with uh, fucking chocolate Fruity Pebbles and the chocolate Cheerios. You can get all those three. Add some Pop-Tarts on top. And uh, it's not just with regular milk. You got hemp milk, coconut milk. You got almond milk. You got almond milk. You got all these different kinds of milk that go along with your with your different kinds of cereal combination. It's literally like Yogurt Land and all the cereals fucked. And then this is what the outcome came about. By the way, a couple tips before you come to this place. Parking sucks. Parking sucks, dick. You're gonna have to pay for it. I'm sorry. Don't get don't get mad. If you do happen to pay for it, try to go for a parking lot like this where you can chill and hot box for a good long time. You know what I'm talking about? Like you hot box a good long time. Nobody's gonna tell you shit. You go up to like the seventh floor. It's my Bart Zilla Ray by uh, Nerve Glass. Yeah, man, I've been. I'm, I'm, I want to get dabbed the fuck out this morning. If you are in the Cali area, and you are gonna be coming, you know, anytime soon in the next two weeks, you might want to hit up the Reup Festival because not only in San Bernardino, because not only is Flavors by E Zone gonna be there with the propane booth, but uh, I might just be hitting the stage. I might just do a high and hungry there. On the, like, I got two jobs, three jobs to do there, so. <laughs> Gotta finish your milk. This is where you get carb caps, people. <coughs> so the shit never ends. She got still smoke coming out. <coughs> Beep.
people that keep on like fucking commenting that I'm not this and I'm not that, comparing me to other people, man, fucking suck my medicated dick. All right, y'all. So we're back here at Gizmos, and I fucking ordered. I got some custom, so they have like a bunch of different cereal combinations. Um, however, yeah, so they have pre-made fucking bowls, like very much like the soda game. How like they have exotics in it. They have the exotic cereals here as well. So I ended up going with the Captain Bowl along with the split half and half Pop Tarts. It's great, and the little marshmallows on top. I know you guys are probably thinking like, oh my god, this motherfucker's in like OD on fucking diabetes and shit. Listen, man, that's why you got to coordinate the shit and sweat that shit out later. I don't really know how you can really kind of get this all into one actual spoon. You don't have to get, like, regular fucking milk. I got, you know, stoner milk. I got hemp milk. It doesn't get you high for all you motherfuckers that are high out there. But, um, yeah, it's fucking made out of hemp. So. I swear. This is not the kind of place where you can come up in here, a hundred and deep, and have a big long table like that. But this is the kind of place that's worth waiting out outside the line for because this is some real stoner shit. Like it's like I said it before, stoners only be putting shit inside their food. This is the equivalent to fries inside your burgers. This is the equivalent to chips inside your sandwich. You gotta put extra stuff on top of your cereal. And <clears throat> I know a lot of you motherfuckers probably did it at home prior to this, but just know there's a place out here now in downtown LA that'll go ahead and just think of different combinations and stuff that you haven't even thought about putting in your cereal in it so you don't have to think about it at home anymore. All you got to do is just pull up here, pay for a little parking because, you know, you don't want to park along the walking dead sometimes. And uh, you come here really stoned. By the way, parking that parking lot where you guys saw me do it, where I was dabbing in the back seat. that's perfect. Nobody was going to fuck with you there. Coming back in that door. This is the technique, bro. You gotta sink this in. You gotta sink the pop tart in. Can't have it any other way, bro. Don't expect just one kind of cereal terps. This is a combination of everything. You know how like they put a pop tart in there? Yeah, the pop tart was warmed up. Nice little toaster of it. We'll keep fucking this up. I don't really know how much more you can tweak up cereal, man. I think this is the, this is as good as it's gonna get right here. I mean, fuck, like this is like having a big cookie in your fucking cereal bowl too. No, oh, it's all good. I saw two packs down there. It's top. Fucking top. With that being said, we're well, fucking if I'm finished fucking up the cereal right here. I think you guys should come check out Gizmos. It definitely has that feel. It's like kind of like Yogurt Land fucked a bunch of cereals and created this store, and it's kind of cool because it has like it has a way nicer feel. You don't gotta like actually touch any of the ingredients. All you do is watch it be made with all the exotic stuff that you didn't even think was out there, like the exotic flavors with the actual cereal. I ain't hungry. We're at Gizmos. Cheers.